Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up a Same Boy on your Windows machine. So, Same Boy is a Game Boy emulator. There's so many Game Boy emulators out there. So, the reason I've chosen Same Boy for multiple reasons has a bunch of features, still actively in development, it's free and open source, it has you know really high accuracy. And I like that it's multi-platform. So it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. There's some other good ones, but they only work on Windows or they're not in active development anymore. And I'm like, mm, I'm gonna stick with same, but so that's the one I'm currently recommending. I will create videos on how to set up game controllers for it, like Xbox, PS4, and how to set all of it up on you know Mac and Linux, but we're doing Windows for now. So first of all, you wanna go ahead and download Same Boy. Now the windows open on my other screen. So same boy. And just go to this website. I'll provide a link in the description. Just click the download button. You'll download. And that's really it. You can you know, go ahead and check out the features. There's like a whole list of features. And it does support, you know, retina and high display, you know, high dots per, you know, inch displays. So which is pretty good which is really nice to be fair and you see the changes as well and you can go to downloads and you know download the older version if you really want to okay so that's that and set it up it's actually pretty simple you just right click extract all extract make sure you've got a game also this video is not condoning piracy i'm assuming you've got a game boy and i'm assuming you've ripped the game yourself so i've got a Super Mario land right here in the .gb format. That's where you need it. And now we can open up Same Boy. Open up SameBoy.exe. Go to more info if this pops up. Click run anyway. And here we go. Okie dokie. So to play the game, you can just drag and drop it or you can just click open ROM and select it like so. Before we do that, let's look at the settings. So to navigate, you can either use the arrow keys and like press enter, and do, for example, or you can use the mouse. Mouse is my preferred option. So if we go to emulation settings, you can emulate a particular model. So we'll stick with Game Boy Color. You can emulate a particular like region as well for like the Super Game Boy. You can specify a ROMs folder as well if you want. You can, you can mess around with the time. Go to graphic settings and you can change the scaling mode as well. You can change the default window scale. So we can make this bigger. That's pretty tiny. I do it eight times. That's nice. You can see everything. And you can change the scaling filter. It's nearest neighbor at the moment. Change the color correction. So this currently will emulate the hardware as best as it can but you can change that if you want it and you can change the frame blending mono palette display board if you want that on on screen display as well and in audio you can just you know specify how accurate you want it plus also what volume as well now you can specify your keyboard controls so if we click keyboard for right you just click that and let's say if i wanted r instead of the right key done I'll go back to right, but that's it. That is literally, and you can, you know, rewind as well, and you'll set to currently two minutes. You can change the settings. It was in a previous menu, and you can do slow motion using left shift. So it's some pretty cool settings. And so if we go back, if you have a joypad, you can connect that up. Nothing found because I don't have anything connected. But what I'll do, I'll actually create separate videos and I have to connect a specific joypad because there might be a few sort of you know, nuances that you have to do or you have to know. So, okay, I'll do that. So we can over open a ROM by clicking that and open it or just dragging and dropping it, which is what I'll go ahead and do right now. So we'll drag and drop that. There we go. And that's it. So click enter. I'll just turn the volume down a bit. And there we go. So X and Y is A and B. Oh, there we go. Does bring back memories playing old school games like this.
I mean, you can end the video right here if you want to, because we are done. I'm just going to probably play to the end of the level. I am enjoying playing this. Let me know if you would like me to play more, you know, old school games like this from start to finish. I'm happy to do it. I would love to do it. Just let me know. Including games I've never played before, though, because that would be an interesting experience. Ooh, we want that bad boy. Ah. It's the star. <laughs> the head just goes through it. It's pretty funny that is, to be fair. So what we'll do is we'll climb on top of this. There we go. Okay, so we just get a bonus game. <laughs> uh, screwed over in that one. Ooh. Ah, messed up that. So yeah, that is it. So we can just press escape, takes you back to here, and that is really it. So we can quit same boy. That's how you set up Same Boy so you can play Game Boy games on your Windows machine. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. There's an emulation section in there with a Same Boy channel. So feel free to check that out. And if you want to know how to, you know, rip games and you know get hold of ROMs, you know, there's you know resources in on the Discord group as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.